645 now, Chris, and ADOT says the South Mountain Freeway will be a huge help to commuters. Opposition groups do not feel that way. They say it'll cost it a, come at a huge cost to sacred sites and to the environment, and they are hoping that a peace run today will send a message to ADOT. ABC 15's Justin Pizera spoke with both sides and has the story. Justin, good morning. Good morning, Dan. We are along Pecos Road, and this is going to be the new 202, and this is also going to be where these Native American tribes from all over Arizona, they're going to have a peace run today. It's going to be a 10-mile relay, hoping really to send a message to ADOT. Okay, so let's get to some video from ADOT, and this is really showing you where this highway is going to go, and you can really see that it's going to blast through South Mountain. That's the problem for these tribes. That land right there, it is considered sacred, so they don't want it to go through that area. Uh, I talked with ADOT about this run and they told me that 13 years of public involvement that has really helped shape this plan, but they are looking forward to more conversation. Now this run today that starts at four o'clock, they're running to Desert Vista High School here in Ahwatukee. That's where ADOT's going to be having a conversation with folks here about this plan. Uh, so again, that meeting starts at four o'clock. I talked with the director of this run and he says that they are planning for it to be peaceful, not even going to disturb traffic. We're live at Ahwatukee, Justin. Pizarra, ABC 15.